What is up? It is Friday. Anyone else is, else is excited for this three-day weekend like I am? After the pledge, booster club, coach kids, crash club, and more. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The Booster Club will have pulled pork barbecue on the menu at the concession stand for tonight's football game. They are now accepting debit and credit cards. Also, don't forget that the Cone Ice Truck will be there too. Be sure to come out and eat and support the hot dogs. Coach Kids is looking for mentors. If you do not know what Coach Kids is, it's where you get matched with the mentor, you meet once a month during the school year, set goals, and get tools and resources to find success after high school. And there is a monthly gift card drawing. And if interested, be sure to contact your guidance counselor for more information. Crash Club was founded in 2012 to raise awareness around issues that affect the Latino community, support students pursuing higher education, bridge the gap of communication and understanding between the English speaking and the Spanish speaking communities, provide community service, and collaborate with community partners to enrich the experiences of youth in our school corporation. If you're interested in this club, applica applications are due today. Now to Mr. Siege for Sports. Hey, W game. Whoever want to run Siege, you know who to text. What's going on, party people? It's Friday. And we got a three-day weekend, baby. Labor Day coming in clutch. Anyways, last night our volleyball team unfortunately fell to the Red Devils of West Lafayette, 0-3. to They've got a little bit of break, and then their next game is next Wednesday against Tri-West here at home. Nice effort, ladies. Also traveling last night, the girls' soccer team played the Northwestern Tigers and unfortunately fell 1-4. to That one goal is being scored by sophomore Michelle Martinez from 40 yards out. Their next game is on Tuesday, where they'll be traveling to Southmont for their very first conference game of the season. Nice job, ladies. And with our only game at home, at home last night, the boys' soccer team beat the Eastern Comets with a crazy score of 9-0. to zero. Those nine goals being scored by Gail Hernandez, Marcelino Cervantes, Sebastian Mora with two, Daniel Bustos with two, Ethan Hudsmith, Cesar Alanis, and Salvador Hernandez. Amazing job, guys. Way to show them who's boss. And now for sports for this weekend, the boys and girls cross country teams will be traveling to Brownsburg to compete in the Brownsburg Invitational starting at around 8.30. Best of luck, dogs. And last but not least, it's FNL. Tonight, our hot dog football team is playing here at home against the Tri-West Bruins starting at 7 p.m. Don't worry, baby. You know we got a student section for tonight. And the theme is going to be USA. So come out in USA attire and get loud for our dogs. I believe that's all for sports today. Man, I'm sure ready for this three-day weekend. Hope everyone has a fantastic Friday, and I'll see everyone back here after the weekend. Now, we're going to send it to our side story server, Kai Kirby, to catch up with the cross-country team. Catch y'all later. What's up, dogs? I'm Kai Kirby. Today, I caught up with the cross-country team. This is what they had to say. My goal for this season is to have our girls, top five girls, um, at least 24 minutes and to have our team make it to regionals. While I run, I just try to focus on the finish line, push through like with a good mindset and motivate my teammates on the way. Things that motivate me to keep moving on through the race are the rest of my teammates. If I run far, hard for them, then they will run better. And if I think about my family, that motivates me to run harder. If my baby cousin's there, it makes me run faster because I love him to death and just him being there makes me run better. Uh, my goals for this season is to have our top five guys under 18 minutes. We need to get top three in the conference. We'll have a chance to go against another conference team on Saturday. Uh, we need to get top five in the sectional so we can move on to regionals and just work hard as a team. Um, 
my teammates just thinking about um, working hard together as a team and being able to achieve most of our goals. Um, my goal this season is to advance from sectionals to regionals and to keep motivating all my teammates to have a positive attitude throughout the whole season, especially for their first year runners. I may be five foot, but when I stand on my awards, I'm six six. That's what they had to say. Good luck to them on the rest of the season. Good morning, hot dogs, and happy Friday. Outside was pretty cool and chilly. We started with our low of 52 degrees, and our high is 82 degrees around 4 p.m. We'll have sunny, clear skies for most of the day. Get ready for this three-day weekend because Sunday and Monday is going to get hot. Don't forget to have a water bottle on hand. Be sure to go outside and enjoy the weather. That's it for weather. Have a great Friday, hot dogs. Now back to your hosts. Don't forget that Indiana University of Bloomington is coming to town, and they will be here September 18th from 8.20 to 8.50 a.m. Be sure to sign up in the email student services sent out. For lunch today in lines 1 and 2 will be orange chicken and rice, and lines three and four will be flatbread pizza. We want to give a big happy birthday to Quincy Allen, Roberto Carrasco Hernandez, Emily Santos, and last but not least, Xavier Taylor. That's it for the announcements, hot dogs. And today's the last day you'll see us two at the desk. So peace out and enjoy your long weekend. <laughs>